Oh hi and welcome to another video. This one is another top tips video and it's all about Instagram. I'm gonna dive right in. Here are my top tips for music artists using Instagram. Number one, keep your grid pretty. So your grid is the first thing that people are gonna see when they go on your profile. They're not gonna hear your music, they're not really gonna see your profile picture, they're just gonna see your grid. So it's got to be pretty and aesthetically pleasing. Don't use things like screenshots or things with a lot of text or graphics. Try to keep it photographic. You can have some graphics, like in my opinion, you can have some graphics, but the screenshots and things that are sort of cropped in a weird way just don't use, just keep it pretty. The screenshots and reviews and everything like that can go in stories. Tip two, try to be consistent with colors, themes, and creative elements. So try to pick some kind of design elements and keep that consistent throughout, whether it's a color or a style or a filter when you edit, just try and have some kind of consistency so when the grid is all together, it looks super pretty. Let these elements omit from your grid and yourself. Tip three, put your most important link in your profile. So I change this regularly and I think that has worked really well for me. So obviously for businesses it would be a website, but for music artists it's most likely going to be a link to your Spotify or a link to your to YouTube, to your latest music video. But change that link up regularly and obviously then prompt people in your stories and on your grid to go and watch or listen or whatever and direct them to the link that's in your bio. Tip four, use your stories to chat and show behind the scenes footage. So you can use stories or IGTV for like a mini YouTube. So let people get to know you. If you are talking in your story, then put subtitles as well on the screen. So for people who haven't got their volume up or aren't in a place where they can listen to you talk, they can still flick through and get the gist of what you're saying. If you wanted to do a longer video or talk about something in depth, then use IGTV as this allows you to have longer videos. Five, utilize captions. Do not put no captions or just one word or something cryptic utilize the captions because this makes such a difference. Let people get to know you, encourage people to interact, and then when they do interact, make sure you reply back to them. Get discussion going, and then this will f increase your reach for this post. But even if you have a really nice picture, the caption can still draw people in. It just encourages people to get involved, and it encourages connection with your fans. Six, tag relevant accounts. So if you collaborate with someone or you do a gig at a venue, tag the venue, tag the person. Make sure that you tag anyone else who's in the photo with you. Um, this will just increase your reach and encourage those people to then share your posts as well. Seven, research and use hashtags. So you can have up to 30 hashtags, you don't have to if you think that looks too spammy. You can put the tags either in the post, in the caption, or as a comment if you want to separate them. But make sure you use a couple of really big ones so that have millions of people posting under them, a couple of really personal ones that maybe have under 100 posts to keep it customized to you. And then for the rest of them, make sure you have a middle ground between sort of 5,000 and 200,000 people who are posting under those tags. That means that your post is more likely to be picked up and won't get lost in the torrent of big tags. I've forgotten what number I'm on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, tip eight. Make sure your photos are good. Phone cameras are fine if you have one of the latest ones, but just put in a bit of effort with photos. Make sure your lighting is good. Make sure your composition is fun. Just. And if, if this isn't your area, then just ask a creative friend for a little bit of guidance on what makes a good photo or their opinion on, if you've taken a few photos, ask their opinion on which one is the best one to upload. Nine, don't put too much text in your stories. So if you've got a single still, like a single story, don't fill that with text because yes, you can press and hold to read it all, but generally people don't. I find I don't. You're better off splitting it into say three or four stories or two and just adding a little bit more text to encourage people to read it all and make note of it. Otherwise they're more likely just to skip past because it's too overwhelming, it's too much. 10. Download an app 
like Unum or similar where you can plan your grid. So you can just, it just allows you to put in photos to see what they look like in the grid and you might find that two just don't look right next to each other and then you can change it up before you actually post. So it's just a good way of planning the aesthetic of your grid basically, but I find Unum amazing, I love it. Okay, that was a quick one today, but they are my top tips for Instagram. I hope it helps and I hope you use them and have fun. Bye. Bye 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 bye.